Lovely friends and welcome to another studio vlog. It's November and I'm not quite sure what I have planned for this month, but right now I am warping up this loom behind me because Jam Factory has just asked if I could bring in some more scarves because the spring range, <laughs> uh, which are basically my pastel-y kind of colors, they have been selling quite well at the Jam Factory. So they've asked me to bring some more in because they want some, to take some more up to the Barossa store as well as the city. So I'm going to do a warp. This is a very long warp. I'm going to be doing about four full length scarves on there. And I might do them in the, the sage green, the dusty pink, because they seem to be the ones that they like. And they're actually selling really well at the moment. Um, I think those colors are on trend. Not that I ever know what's in fashion. I just like what I like. So anyway, making more of those. And of course, if you ever want to see any of the scarves that I make, please check the link in the description box down below. It's threefolddesigns.com.au and I do ship worldwide, um, maybe apart from the UK because we still haven't figured out all the tax back stuff. Anyway, I digress. On with the video. So in the last studio vlog, Deborah asked if she could see all the animals in our crazy household. <laughs> Hello Tessa Boo. This is Tessa. I call her Tessa Boo. She's actually my partner's dog because um, close your ears Tessa. I prefer cats but that's just me. Um, but Anita's working in the city today so Tessa Boo is in my studio because you know dogs are very needy. You're very needy aren't you? Look at you. Look at that face. <laughs> so She's got her little rug in my studio. She's already stolen a few things this morning, but now she's in her settled down phase. So she'll probably just go to sleep here. But yeah, you can check my studio vlog from last year when we adopted her in September. She was tiny and wrinkly. Um, we adopted her from the RSPCA when she was a puppy. And um, we don't really know what she is. She's mainly staffy, we think. Um, but she's probably, I think they said, Staffy, Sharpe and Ridgeback. And you can see her back. You can see her ridge. Excuse me, sorry, I'm, we're checking out your back. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you're a good girl though, aren't you? Bit crazy, but you're still a good girl. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Rosie. If I put my hand in, it'll be dangerous. No? <laughs> oh, I didn't say you had to come out. I was just saying hi. Mm, hello. <laughs> what do you think about your new little friend? Not very impressed. Oh, it's Mr. <laughs> Hello, you're a very big cat in a very small nest. Oh, look, Mr. Barnaby Bear, the Dream Tiger Esquire. Oh, it's a hard life. Look at that, he's a big boy. You big boy. And here is Jamie. Hi Jamie. Look at you. <laughs> we call her pumpkin pants because of all the cute little pumpkin fluff. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes, you're very smoochy. Good morning, it is Saturday the 5th of November and I'm gallery sitting all day today which means I'm working on this bunyip all day and also we have brand new exhibitions that have just opened downstairs and upstairs so I will show you around.
Good morning. It is the 12th of November. It's Saturday and I'm spending most of the day in the gallery working on the bunyip. <laughs> but I'll show you more throughout the day. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that is very heavy rain, maybe hail. It's a thunderstorm, it's supposed to be spring. Saying that, it's quite balmy, it's about 22 degrees today, so I feel like I'm living in Queensland. Excuse my non makeup look, but it is Sunday. Now, you saw yesterday's footage in The Haunt of the storm that was happening <laughs> well it got worse and at the time of me filming this is about lunchtime on sunday and we've been without power since about four o'clock yesterday so <laughs> it's um yeah i mean we're very very fortunate we haven't had any trees down this time around there's been trees down all over the place um, we're also very grateful that our local pub was still open. They've got a generator, so they stayed open and we went out for dinner there because we can't cook anything. And um, we're probably going to go there for dinner again tonight because I'm not sure if we're going to get power back today either. Anyway, my camera's got a bit of charge on it, luckily, so I can keep you updated. But yeah, we're very, very fortunate here in South Australia. We don't normally get weather like this. Um, normally the East Coast gets all this really bad weather and we normally avoid it completely. So very, very grateful. Um, just from where I'm sitting now, one street over, a power, sorry, a stoby pole went down because a tree landed on it and they're both sort of in the middle of the road like this and that's another reason why our power is out it's literally just the street over so i feel really sorry for the people who live near there it didn't hit any houses but it would have been so scary to have a stoby pole and a tree fall down it, that would have been really really frightening so hopefully no one's been hurt but um yeah crossing fingers that the power comes back today we'll see <laughs> So it's Monday uh, and we still don't have any power. So because Anita and I both work from home, we are going to go to Anita's parents' house, which is only 15 minutes away. And luckily their power is all on. So we're going to go and work there today. Good morning, it is Tuesday still no power so we're at the Bridget and Bob office today <laughs> thanks to Anita's parents for letting us set up our office space on their dining room table so oh well hopefully it comes back today or tomorrow Today is Friday the 18th of November and I have the day off today so I've been warping up for can you see the warping mill? Warping up um, for tea towels. So I don't celebrate Christmas or anything, but at the end of the year, I kind of have a tradition that I weave some tea towels for Anita's parents and for our friend Tam, because her birthday's around the same time, and for ourselves as well. So I used to have tea towels in the shop, but the problem is they take so long and you can't charge enough for them so you end up getting like minimum wage and they're not really that fun to weave. Like I much prefer weaving scarves. So I just do them once a year. I mean, I might add them to the shop in future, but probably not. 
I don't know. Um, people don't like to spend too much money on tea towels, which is bizarre because the hand woven ones are really, really good quality uh, and they last a really, really long time. So that's why I only make them once a year because by that time the old ones are actually saying that ours are still really good. They last a couple of years. Anyway, so um, I'm doing that first. I'm also going to finish off this tapestry, this one here. I'm right at the very, very top. And to be honest, it's too close to the top. So let me show you what I mean. So what I mean by this is if you weave too close to the top of the weaving frame, this is really, really tight. And even though I've loosened the tension, it's still really hard to get my finger through. And um, yeah, I've got very sore fingers at the moment because I should have designed it with a bit less black at the, well, definitely at the bottom. Anyway, I'm going to have to do a little bit less black here, do a very, very tiny hem, and then fold, fold the bottom maybe about here. It just means I don't get the very nice crisp fold, but as you can see, and I'll turn it on its side, this is being woven on the side. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> anyway, um, I might do this one next. Here's my cartoon. Or I might do a different one. So hopefully I'll finish this today. And the next day I walked up my tapestry loom for the next one. Okay, I just walked up my small Ashford loom. It's a bit hard to see because it's a white ball behind it, but look at that. It's all ready to work on. Okay, so excuse my feet. <laughs> this is my next cartoon. If you're a weaver, you know what that means, but yeah, warp going vertically and weft going horizontally. So. It's a bit of an instructive one, but do you like my font? Yeah, looks like kind of uh, Nordic heavy metal font. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I'm a goth. I don't know what Nordic heavy metal is. <laughs> but um, let's get this started. I've got quite a number of hours of hem to do on this tapestry, starting at the bottom there. And I will put a link to how I make my hems if you are interested. I'm going to weave it like this on the side like I did the last one because this text I think will be easier to weave on the horizontal rather than having to weave it this way and then I'm going to have a lot of uh, splits to sew up so I'm going to weave it this way instead.
Thank you so much for hanging out with me for another studio vlog. My next video that I'll post in a couple of weeks will be something very different. So you'll either love it or you'll hate it. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm just going to go and do some more finishing off of my last tapestry, which I'll show you in the next studio vlog. But until the next video, bye.